So this is the terrifying story of the Scorpius Rex, Jurassic World's first ever hybrid. Without further ado, let's get into this story. The Scorpius Rex, or codename E750. This was Jurassic World's and Dr. Henry Wu's first ever hybrid, which was held captive in InGen's secret tunnels until it escaped. It was also the main antagonist of Jurassic World's Camp Cretaceous Season 3. Now you might all be wondering, what makes this story so terrifying? Well, there is so much to this story, believe it or not. Not to mention it's terrifying, it's also actually quite sad in some parts as well, so brace yourselves. So the Scorpius Rex was the first ever hybrid preceding the Indominus Rex and the Endoraptor and was created by Dr. Henry Wu. However, it was proved to be too ugly, too grotesque to be put on display, says Simon Mizrani, and was ordered to be destroyed. Dr. Henry Wu didn't want to destroy his own recreation, so decided to put it in frozen animation and stasis. Exact timelines on this are unknown, but we can anticipate it was before the events of 2015. The Scorpius Rex also appears to suffer from neurological and respiratory ailments. Its behaviour is calm and placid one minute before switching to hyper-aggressive and unpredictable the next. It is an extremely deadly hybrid known to outrun a Gallimimus and even effortly dispatch and kill a Ceratosaurus. So what makes this so terrifying? Well, it is a mindless killer, much like the Indominus Rex was in Jurassic World, because it is seen to kill its prey and not eat them, leaving the bodies scattered throughout Isla Nublar during the events of Camp Cretaceous Season 3. It literally just kills its victims for fun. It doesn't even eat them at all, which is truly terrifying indeed. At one point, it's seen chasing down, killing a Gallimimus, and then even impales it to a tree with some of its tail spikes left in full grotesque view. It is a sight to see. That is just some of the deadly characteristics, but what makes this so sad then you might be thinking to yourself, well this was a hybrid which was created, it didn't ask to be like this, and its mind is so fragmented, it doesn't know what it's doing. Sometimes it can be extremely placid like we said, and other parts it can be extremely aggressive, so it doesn't know what to do with its own emotions, which is really, really sad. It was made by Dr. Henry Wu, and then because it wasn't as good looking as Simon Masrani wanted, he ordered it destroyed which is extremely sad but Dr. Henry Wu decided against that because this is a living creature and we shouldn't just destroy something we made so he decides to put it on ice and keep it there indefinitely until he can figure what actually went wrong with the Scorpius Rex's mind to hopefully put it right. Now we all know that doesn't happen because Jurassic World actually goes to the dogs, the Indominus Rex was born, all hell breaks loose and the Scorpius Rex is left abandoned in the halls until the power shuts down and it escapes from its test pod slash frozen stasis. When it eventually escapes its stasis, that is where it goes around the island, completely terrorizing everything and everyone, including its own offspring, which shows how unstable and super aggressive it is, because the Scorpius Rex actually asexually reproduces because of the frog DNA which it was made with. So it creates another Scorpius Rex of its own, so its son slash daughter, whatever it might be. But because it is so aggressive, it decides to fight and attack its own offspring, which is a really, really sad story. So not only is it super aggressive, it is also easily distracted by fire and noise, believe it or not, which shows the simple track mind it has, fragmented, corrupted, and super aggressive. But fire and noise seem to subdue this animal and put it into like a trance because it seems to be fascinated with them. Now, although the Scorpius Rex was actually made by Dr. Henry Wu, it was actually commissioned by Eli Mills in Lockwood Manor, believe it or not, and known to by Simon Mazzani, which shows the interest in the hybrid project way before the events of Fallen Kingdom and the Endoraptor. We later then see the Scorpius Rex running around the island with drones after it, which are actually Manticorp drones. So does that mean there's actually a link between Manticorp, Fallen Kingdom, Simon Mazzani and Eli Mills? At this stage, it is unknown. Just like the Indominus Rex, the Scorpius Rex, or E750, doesn't actually know where it fits in the food chain, which makes it quite sad. So then it goes around Isla Nublar, needlessly killing to find out its own existence, where it encounters the campers of Camp Cretaceous in Season 3. Now it actually comes face to face with the campers, and one of the campers, Sammy, actually takes a hit from his poisonous barbs, thus 
poisoning her, which shows how deadly the poison of the Scorpius Rex actually is. They have to then go and find the anti-venom to bring her back from death's door. She nearly dies within a matter of a few hours due to the Scorpius Rex poison. So not only is it a super mindless killer machine, it is also extremely poisonous. Also, much like Henry Wu's other hybrids, it has opposed thumbs and grasping talons, which enable it to climb and ambush prey from above. Also like the Indominus Rex, it actually has infrared vision, which enables it to see the heat and body temperatures of all the beings around it, making it an extremely efficient hunter, much like a snake for that matter as well. The venomous spines on its elbows, tail and neck are due to the scorpion fish DNA, which can detach and embed in an opponent's flesh in a manner similar to that of a porcupine. So we've already established that the Scorpius Rex is indeed a mindless killing machine and is indeed terrifying, but it is not as intelligent as the other hybrid dinosaurs, such as the Indominus and the Endoraptor. And this is shown when it actually attacks a group of Ankylosaurus, aka Bumpy. It wasn't able to pierce its armor and didn't understand how to flip it over to get to the soft underbelly, like the Indominus did, which shows lack of that combat intelligence, which might have some Something to do with the fragmented mind and the one-track mind it possesses. The Scorpius Rex is indeed terrifying, but it's also a sad and heartbreaking story. Like I said, it asexually reproduced and produced that offspring, but because of its super highly aggressive nature, it decided to attack its offspring. And because of this attack and this unprovoked attack, they find themselves fighting inside the Jurassic World Visitor Center. And this is where they cause the most amount of damage. They destroy the structural integrity, and because of that, it gets them both killed which is very very sad because all it seems to see is violence one minute then is super calm the next which is completely contrasting each other but because of this violence it actually gets itself and its baby slash offspring killed now we do not know if the scorpius rex did asexually reproduce a third baby or a third Scorpius Rex. It is not mentioned anywhere. We've only had the mention of the two. And if it did produce a third Scorpius Rex, it may even have been wiped out by the volcano in 2018 if it wasn't captured. So it is presumed that there were only ever two Scorpius Rexes, although there are lots of fan theories out there of them potentially making a third Scorpius Rex, especially the fact that we had a Manticorp drone searching for the Scorpius Rex, which doesn't filter into the story in season four or season five for anything at all other than the fact that they wanted that hybrid technology if they found their bodies there is a potential ability there for them to clone their own scorpius rex on the manticorp island although we didn't see anything as such there are plenty of other stories on my channel, including the Spinosaurus, the Baryonyx, the Morsosaurus. Go and check them other stories out because they are great. I'd like to thank my Patreons and YouTube members for watching and thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. See you again. Bye-bye.